Hi, my name's Aisha. Today I'm going to show you how to use infusible ink with your Cricut hat press. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Hobbycraft and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. For this project, you will need Cricut hat press and form, Cricut Explore 3 and 12 by 12 light grip cutting mat, an infusible ink compatible blank hat, infusible ink pens and butcher paper, strong grip heat resistant tape, Cricut tools, we've used the Cricut brayer and scissors, lint roller. You'll also need a laptop, desktop, tablet or mobile device with the Cricut Design Space app installed. If you'd like to recreate the project we're doing, use the project link included in the description below. Measure the area of the hat that you would like the design to cover. Your completed design should be no larger than 5.7 cm high and 10.8 cm wide. Use these measurements to resize and arrange the design on the canvas. Once happy, click Make It. Navigate through the Map Preview screen and ensure the mirror function is enabled. Click Continue to go through to the machine setup screen and follow the on-screen instructions to create the design. Secure the copy paper to the cutting mat using a brayer. Load the mat into the Cricut machine and press the start button to begin drawing the design. If using more than one pen colour, you will be prompted at the appropriate time to change this. Once complete, carefully remove the design from the mat. If needed, fill in any areas of the design with infusible ink pens. Use a sharp pair of scissors to cut around the design, trimming away any excess paper. Snip into the paper around the design to enable it to bend around the curve of the hat. Be extra careful not to cut into the design. Power on the hat press and use the Cricut Heat app to determine the best settings for the machine. When the hat press has reached temperature, the power button will turn green and a beep will sound. Place the hat onto the form, ensuring any packaging is removed and that the sweat band is pulled down. Use a lint roller to remove any small pieces of dust that may have become attached to the hat. Place the design onto the hat using purple strong grip heat resistant tape around all the edges. This will ensure the design remains in place. Once the hat press has reached the desired temperature, place a piece of butcher paper over the design followed by the hat press. Once the timer is complete, a beep will sound. Place the hat press back into the cradle. Leave the design to cool, then peel the sheet away to reveal the design. Your hat is then complete. Thanks for joining me for this video. Go to hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop find your next craft project or learn a new skill. If you found this video useful, leave a like and a comment below as we love to see them. See you again soon for more videos.